I flunked breastfeeding. Hey guys, how's it going today? I am here to talk to you guys about how I flunked breastfeeding. I want to tell you the story about what happened in the first week of Zane being born. From the start of Zane being born, we actually were able to nurse right off the bat, which was great. Um, he latched right on, which didn't happen with any of my other kids, so I was really excited that this time breastfeeding was going to work. We also did compressing of your breast once um, he ate. On one side, I would compress on the other side into a spoon and feed him the leftover of the colostrum so that he was getting it and that was to promote my breast milk coming in. So I was working really hard to make sure that I had a really good supply. Everything is good, we get checked out, his bilirubin levels are good, he's only lost one ounce. He went from nine pounds two ounces to nine pounds one ounce. Everything was great. So he was six days old when we got back into the doctor. From the hospital to that time, he was eating like 15 to 20 minutes per side. He latched on, he would fall asleep at the breast. All the signs that he was getting enough. I had actually already started getting some nipple damage because he was eating so much, but I was like, this is gonna work. I just need to get through these first couple weeks and then it will be great. Then we went into the doctor and Curtis and I were excited. We were like, oh yeah, he's gonna be over 10 pounds for how much he's eating, it's gonna be great. And we got in there and he had lost almost a full pound. He was down from 9.1 to 8.5. And I about cried. Um, I, like, my heart just dropped. And I think the doctor could kind of tell um, he asked me all the questions and made sure everything was going well. He's like, yeah, let's just check with your lactation consultant, call her up and do a weighted feed and see what we can do. So at the doctor's office, he also got a circumcision that day and they did another bilirubin test, so we did that. We called the lactation consultant, she got us in for the next day. We went in that morning back at the hospital. She asked me kind of the same questions that the doctor had asked me. She asked about my nipples, if they were hurting, and I said, yeah, and she, we checked his latch then. She asked me how long he was feeding and I said, oh, about 20 minutes on each side. And she said, hmm, that concerns me a little bit because after about 30 minutes of feeding, they start burning more calories than they're taking in. But she said, it's, it sounds like everything's going well, like he's falling asleep at the breast and that's good. So we did a weighted feed. In that weighted feed, we found out that I was only producing, sorry, he's eating only producing half an ounce and only producing milk pretty much out of one of my breasts. She saw how damaged my nipples were and she's like, oh man, we need to try something to help with that. She brought me a nipple shield and she goes, you have large nipples. I don't know if this will work because they only make these in one size. So I already knew coming in that I had large nipples, but I didn't realize how badly it would affect breastfeeding. But she got me the nipple shield and we tried to feed him and he got nothing. Nothing at all. So check one, that doesn't work. My nipples are too big. Check two, I'm only producing half an ounce. Then she looked at his latch because obviously with nipple damage a lot of that comes from them latching on wrong. His top lip like right in here. So that's a little bit long. That may be causing the latch, but if you just push his lip up when he latches on, it should be fine. And then she looked at the other parts of his mouth and he has a tie on either side right here. And so this is check three. This is something else that is wrong that causes it to be harder for us to breastfeed. So she says, well, there is a really good pediatric dentist that I know and we can call him and he could probably get you in in the next two weeks. And I'm like, I don't have two weeks. He's already lost almost a pound. I am still freaking out. And so we decided to try something to get my milk supply up, but we, he needed to be supplemented with formula. I'm gonna put him down. To supplement with the formula, but still continue to try to nurse, we used what is called 
Starter Supplemental Nursing System. So if any of you guys have ever had to use this, you know that it is not fun. It is actually a pain. Yeah, this is an STS machine. And this is what I had to do with this. I would get him ready and at my breast and then we'd fill this with one ounce of formula and then I had to clip it up on the lamp next to me so that it could have gravity flow. And then I had to stick it on my nipple and get it into his mouth so that it wasn't leaking out and then try to nurse him that way for five minutes. Then I would clamp it with this little clamp and I would nurse him strictly on my breast for 15 minutes. And then we would go back and unclamp it and nurse the same way as the first time for the last 10 minutes. So it was a 30 minute feeding. That way we knew exactly how much he was getting in this and anything he got from me was just extra. After that, I was in what she called booby boot camp, which meant that immediately after feeding, I had to pump for an hour. And it was 20 minutes on, 10 minutes off, 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off, 10 minutes on. By the time I was done with everything, it had been an hour and a half at least. And as you know, newborns feed every two hours. So I was getting 30 minutes between that time to go to the bathroom, to eat, to sleep, um, and to spend time with my family. Like, it was exhausting. He wants to talk to you guys in just a minute. 30 minutes to do all that. Like, okay, we'll push through it. On top of that, I was having to look into supplements and buy formula to make sure he was getting <laughs> everything that he needed. We did that for an entire day. And this was also right before Thanksgiving, like the day before Thanksgiving actually. I continued to try to do this the next day, but during that first day, I got a call while I was pumping, and it was from the doctor's office, and they called to tell me that Zane's bilirubin levels were incredibly high, and they were sending over a belly light that we needed to start immediately. So. We got him on that, and when he was on that light, I'll try and throw in a couple pictures, we couldn't hold him. He was in the Mamaru basically for two straight days, like all of Thanksgiving Day, all of that Friday, all of the rest of that Wednesday, the whole time, which made trying to feed him almost impossible. So I decided that we were going to go to formula. He wasn't getting what he was needing anyway, which also I found out that not producing enough breast milk actually is one of the symptoms that causes jaundice because they're not getting enough food to poop out the bilirubin. So that, again, mentally like messed with me saying, oh my goodness, I'm not producing enough. I don't have enough milk. My baby is not getting what he needs from me. We need to make sure that he's getting what he needs. I continued to do the power pumping even though we were feeding him with formula. I would get an ounce every two to three times pumping. So I wasn't even producing enough to feed him. Yeah, it was just not working. I finally decided we're done. I, it was really hard. I fought it. I feel like I put up a good fight. I'm sure there are people that will say you could have done more in the end. I was stressed out, he knew that I was stressed out, he wasn't getting the nourishment he needed, I wasn't getting the nourishment I needed, it was only a matter of time before I crashed. And after I finally gave up, I was at peace. There was a calm that hit me and I was fine because I knew he was getting taken care of, I knew that I was going to be okay and that it was going to get better from then on. I was texting my lactation consultants all at this time and finally I just texted her and she said it's okay now it's just time to enjoy your baby and it was not what I expected at all it just confirmed to me that okay it's okay that is what I wanted to share with you guys and especially those that have the same problem as I do that you just don't produce enough to feed your baby to not feel bad about it and to let other moms know that it is a real thing that some people can't produce. It's not fair, like I wish that I could produce milk, but what I make 
isn't what he needs. It's not enough to feed him. What I want you guys to know is that it's okay if you flunk breastfeeding like I did. As long as your baby is getting the nourishment that he needs, it doesn't matter which way he gets it. Know that it's all right and that your baby will be okay and you will be okay. Thank you for taking this journey with us. We hope to be continuing to share baby Zane with you guys and we'll see you again next time. Bye.